Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. So as you can see here, we're looking at a very wide view of the map that I'm using currently to fight the battles. And there's been a couple of mentions of wanting to see names for, you know, rather than the Eastern Warlord, things like that. So what I've done is I've added a little bit of borders to the map here, and I'll show you in a second. What we're going to do is we're going to go have a look at the two provinces that are in conflict right now. The province that we're currently in is Azraka province. We do not basically rule this province. It's still an independent province. We've promised to provide defensive support for them since we've taken out the warlord for the region. We didn't want there to be a power vacuum here and the people here to suffer. So we've offered to defend this region in order to be able to have our own headquarters here, supply bases and things like that so that we can go out and find the Star League cache, which we're planning on doing. Now the Eastern Warlord is Magashi province. And as you can see here on the map, they control a fair bit of territory and it kind of goes outside the map, which is why we've had so many units that they've been able to throw against us. The borders used to be a lot larger, more towards where our territory was, but we've managed to push them back and open up a little no man's land between the two provinces currently. And as you can see down in the south, there's a small area that's been occupied by clan forces. They've loosely allied themselves with the Magashi province only because the Night Gods and the Dragon's Rejects are basically deserters. These clan forces came to the system looking for the same Star League cache that we're looking for. And once they heard that we were here, they decided to take it upon themselves to basically remove us. As deserters, you know, we're obviously scum, like the worst of the worst scum, right? So the situation we're in right now is the Night Gods and the Dragon's Rejects are kind of on our rough southern border. Magashi province is pulled back. They've stopped kind of hostilities. However, a small town named Karima and its outlying areas has decided to break away from Magashi province. Now, this is an important town for them. It's a very large agricultural town. So with them breaking away, it's caused Magashi province to take notice and they're trying to move in to take the area back. So focusing on the local map now, if you can see here, where the Night Gaunts and the Dragon's Rejects are, we're kind of on the border. We're in contact with the city of Karima. Once we found they were breaking away from Agashi province, we offered them a bit of protection. We told them that they can stay as their own neutral territory. We have no plans of taking them over or running their business, but we will defend them if they'd like. And what that does for us is it gives us a town in the south to basically put a base in to run operations against Magashi or the clans to the south if we need to. Realizing that it's a threat, Magashi has moved a heavy number of forces forward to try and take back the town of Karima. Likewise, the clan group to the south has decided to move in and help them by taking the southern territories. So making good on our promise, both the Dragon Rejects and the Night Gods are going to move in to help defend this area. Once again, we're not planning on taking the city. We're going to leave it as neutral. We can't let the heavy mech forces of the clans in Magashi province take this area back. Okay, so we're with the Dragon's reject Rejects just north of Karima. And our goal is to try and engage the main enemy mech force. We know the uh, Magashi province has um, thrown in its basic heavy reserve. So we're hoping to take down as many of them as we can. So it looks like we've engaged a force here heading towards Karima. We're going to try and uh, take down as many mechs as we can. If we can take them all down, great. If not, well, we can bail and get out of here. But... Uh, Hopefully we've got enough of an advantage here that we can do some good damage to them. I have no idea what we're up against here, but I think what we're going to do... We've got guys off to the right and some guys up ahead. We're going to move up the road, I think. We'll stay on the road, take the high ground, and then sweep down this way and try and crush these guys. I think that's the goal here. Now, there's a couple of minor changes to the mechs. Um, just a few tweaks here or there. Uh, you can see the fire started to load out. I had to take off the uh, mag shot because now you need mag shot ammo to be able to use it. Don't have any mag shot ammo, so can't use the mag shot. So it got replaced by a small laser magna. We took off the two jump jets and uh, we, we were able to get a tag barrage in as well. So this mech is fairly well loaded out. Uh, I think I put an extra, we were able to get another double heat sink in here too. So as far as heat management goes, it's actually pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead, I think what we're going to do, we got the tag barrage, rather than trying to like, let's just do this. I'll make them dead. There we go. Force them to move down there. Okay, we got a javelin. Where is he? Up the hill? 
Looks like a fire starter, javelin. We've got a clint here. As long as that clint stays at range, I think we're okay. It's going to have really low chances to hit. we got an archer, an orion, oh, and a sand devil. Looks like they did commit their heavy units. Commander. So I'm hoping we can get some good, uh, good salvage out of this. Yeah, full speed. we got to get up this here hill. We go. Even if you can't fire, get up the hill here. It's going to take us three turns to get up there, I think, but uh, I'm it will be worth it. Hauling ass. Okay. So you'll notice we've got six mechs in play right now in two vehicles. If I were planning an ambush, this is where I'd put it. Really? You put it here, Darius? It's funny, that's how you, you always you always tend to drop us right down where you think the ambush would be. Strange how that works out. So we've got the uh, the Jenner up and running now. Let's get you up here. It's a tough call where to drop these mines. Let's just move up here. Confirmed. I think this thing is going to work out better than the Lancelot. It's funny because uh, I got rid of the Lancelot before I posted the episode where we got it. And everyone was like, oh, I love the Lancelot. And everyone was so excited about that I got the Lancelot. And I'm like, oh, crap, I got rid of it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Okay, we've got EMPs here. Fire on this guy. We're running cool, but... Okay, nice. Some mag pulse on him. Ready for orders. Uh, we do have the ability, just so you know, to field another vehicle, but right now i got to work on weight capacity. Holy Problem man. is, is that um, we, we can only drop up to 400 tons right now, and since we can use up to 7 units, uh, we have LK, we do, but let's save the LK for way better chances to hit. Let's just fire in the clint here. So yeah, but in order to do that, I gotta get the power systems upgraded, um, and a couple of other things to be able to increase our drop weight. We gotta increase it by another 50 tons, just to be able to drop one more vehicle. Now in offline milk runs, I was able to get enough um, light carrier parts. We've got a, a 40 ton light carrier with three LRM fifth, or sorry, three LRM tens. Yep. So that's the other vehicle we're gonna be bringing in. Uh, let's keep pushing forward. Got it. No shooting, just running. What else do we have up here? Okay, vehicle. That's the gladiator. What is that? Clint. Okay. All right, that's all right. We're all right here. Twenty-seven percent chance. We'll take it. That's not bad. Wow, nothing, eh? Should have got like, at least one of those. So this is a uh, two and a half skull assassinate mission. I'm just interested to see, battle-wise, uh, what our um, capabilities are. I think two and a half skull is where we should be sitting at with this group. I hear ya. We're just gonna walk up with you. You don't even need to be close to anybody. You might later on, but not right now. 22 on the Clint. 37 on the vehicle. How much armor does this thing have? Ah, uh, mediocre. 7. Although we should switch to direct. I'm sure that'll change the chance to hit. It's out of range with direct, though. Out of range with direct. 13. 7. 9. Well, let's take the best chance to hit. We've only got 20 shots, so uh, let's make the best use of them. Now, can we get the LRM chaff on this guy? We can't, so that's fine. Right, Commander. Oh, yeah. Enjoy it, buddy. So that guy's one alpha strike away from being killed, which is good. Yes, Commander. All right, we got Tiger Tail here and the Bulldog, the pair of Ultra AC2s. we got to be careful of the ammo with this thing. I only got 25 shots, so at full shooting, it's like 12 turns. Oh, it's less than that, six turns. So, got to be very wary. But when we use it, 
18% is pretty low, so we'll hold off for now. I want to use this guy as a knockdown. So if we get somebody unstable, then the uh, the Ultra 2s can at least pepper them and hopefully take them down at the end of the turn because the Hetzer is so slow. Or not the Hetzer, the uh, Bulldog is so slow. We'll use it as a knockdown platform if we can. Yeah, you move up, buddy. Get a little closer. Alright guys, we know what we're doing here. Let's just get it done. I want this hill. Piece of cake. I want this hill. Dervish, that's what that is. Okay. So we, we're loaded down with rockets on this guy. So two medium laser pirates, SRM-6 part and a fluid gun. Let's just open up on this guy. Got it. Ooh, penned. Nice. He's going on 18. We're pretty good for speed, though. We got somebody else going on 19. Alright. Well, thanks for showing up. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get you first since you're in front. So, with this mech. Affirmative. I was able to, to get a laser insulator for the arm, so it should run cooler now. It's on the X-Pulse arm. I wanted to get it on the uh, fire starter, but the problem with that is that the fire starter is an Omni-Mech, and apparently the laser insulators don't work on Omni-Mechs, which I found very interesting. This guy's got barely any armor at all. Here we go. Okay, nice shooting. I'm guessing you didn't like that, did ya? So these guys are pi technically pirates in the actual uh, mission. So we should be up against a whole wide array of uh, yep. of weapons and ammo here. Ah, God, I can't get quite as far as I was hoping I could. All right, don't hit anybody right, in the back. Speed. Yeah, I know. Just don't shoot people in the back. It's very bad if you do that. In order to minimize it, we're going to drop these guys. Yeah, we'll just go with standard ammo on this guy. Oh yeah, five hits. How did that taste? You got LRMs? You do. Come on, send me a real mech. So I ran this genera in one mission previous to this one. I just wanted to get some C bills so we had enough for the financial report. Plus, I didn't see any missions that were applicable to the uh, uh, the campaign, so I had to kind of wait to the end of the like, financial report. So this uh, Jenner has run through one mission already. It's actually not that bad. I lo I'm loving the speed on it. Okay, we got to get you to a position where they can't shoot at you. Awaiting orders. Losing the vehicles early would be very bad for us. Get into here. We'll decide who we're going to shoot at. We got lots of MRM ammo with this thing, so I'm not that worried. 26, 32 on the Clint. Let's just open up on the Clint again. Oh, he's got a pirate AC5. I picked up some. I picked up some uh, incendiary uh, AC5 ammo. So if we can get the pirate AC5, it might be a viable option. What do you need? To drop on. Um, yeah, let's get right up here. To drop on the um, bushwhacker for a later game for overheating mechs. Okay, this is probably a good option to drop some mines in on. Because we're not going to be taking this position here. So let's go... Um, not bad. A little better on the gladiator. Let's target the gladiator. Tandem's in range. Let's fire the tandems. Uh, we'll hang on to the incendiaries, but let's fire the rest of this. Okay, the mines I think fell short. Or maybe, maybe not. It's hard to tell here. 
Did we get it? We got it right on. Perfect. I mean, not totally perfect, but at least they can't go left or right without running into mines here. Metal! Affected. Eight damage. He must hate that his heavy metal was was affected there. I was hated when my heavy metal got affected. Do we shoot or do we run? Which armor do we have on the side? 154. We got plenty of armor. Let's run it up the hill a bit. Double time. Let's go. I think the more height we get with this thing, the better it's going to be. We got the range. Look at the range on this thing, eh? All we need is the accuracy. I'm not taking the shot that chance. We got. If I had, if I had one more ton of ammo, I'd be shooting, but we don't. So. Yeah, you really want that LRM bomb, don't you? What is it about Hetzers that they just get targeted by everybody? I guess they want to try and go after it because the side armor isn't that tough, but they're hitting the front mostly, so... Who we got next? What can I do for Ice you? house. Alright. We're going to put this guy in the trees right here. Next turn, and that's where he's going to stay for the rest of the battle, I think, probably. So this is the archer. Looks like it's a standard archer loadout, 1A. Clint is 28, this is 43. Can we direct fire this guy? We can, 50%. Oh, okay, it's out of range still. Uh, this guy's a little lower. 37, like they're... It's still pretty good over here, like 37% is pretty darn good, but we are going to take this one because, for obvious reasons, standard ammo or chaff? Let's go, let's put some chaff on him this turn, then we'll go standard ammo. Tell me what to shoot. That's affect his chance to hit us. Oh, he's completely unstable. See, the bulldog should have been going now, right? But we got the Hetzer still, so... Enjoy those mines, Bubba. So with this playthrough, I'm going to shy away from mines as well. If the only the only mines I'll probably use are like mine dispensers. Good to go. We pull back and attack, or do we? No matter where we go, they're shooting you. So. I have a feeling that your life in this battle is going to be very short. Let's go. I know, Rusty. Let's get on it. Let's get on it. Let's hit this archer. Good chances to hit. We're taking him. Copy that. Hopefully we get a knockdown here, or at least close to it. Nope. He's in the barrage, though, so maybe he'll take some damage from that. I don't think he'll get knocked over by it, but... Okay, not bad damage. Do we have anybody that can follow up can do. and knock this archer over? Yeah, you're better off not doing that. Let's, Let's get these guys off here. I want them gone, please. So we're going to want to try and get Orion and Archer parts, so I'm going to unload and try and get some early kills up here. What do we got for back armor? Nothing. Alright, I don't want to go too bad, too hard in this guy. Let's just go with uh, one pack of rockets. It's good, like the rockets like severely heat us up too, so like if we were to apply them all, we're going to be in trouble. But we're gonna, just going to fire this. Locked on. Cool. Oh, we got him. What did we hit? Ammo? Short range missiles, gone. Yeah, it's fine. You killed him, so it's fine. We draw first blood. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Damage minimal. That's excellent. Yeah. Okay, when does this archer go? Eleven.
Do I want to do an AC follow-up on this guy? or <sighs> Wait, we got our... Okay, Helopolis goes before that, so we're going to use a Helopolis on him. Let's get up here and continue our mission to take these guys out fast. Let's get on this guy, see if we can take out the Clint. Actually, this is a kill strike on the Clint, so let's not... Let's try and find if we can get a heavy damage strike on somebody. How much armor does this vehicle have? Fair bit. Let's see if we can get a kill in the turret hand here. Nope. Nope. Oh, I should have switched to incendiary. Damn. Okay. Well. Standing by. That's my bad. Yeah. Let's get our speedy guys up here. Where is this guy damaged? Okay, severely damaged on the front. This is really good chances to hit. Let's take it on this guy. Maybe we climb the torso. We'll rip off his other arm and he'll have no weapons and maybe he'll bail. Nice fire at all. Okay, he's a stick now. I think I hit something special. Not gonna bail though. Aye, aye. Alright, you tough bastard. Don't bail out then. On the move. Let's see if we can finish up this guy. Copy that. He's gonna fire it all. That's gonna hurt. Not gonna bail, huh? Alright, that's fine. The further and further we get in, in uh, skulls, the less and less chance they're gonna have a bailing out, so. It's the benefit of your earlier matches, you get used to enemies bailing out when they freak out on you. But later matches, their guts are going to be so high that they're just not going to bail. Plus the experience with the mech that they're in, they're not going to bail. So... Ooh, he hit, damn it. Armor blow through. Internal I see damage. that. I gotta back you up. Waiting on you, Commander. So it's weird. I got Sarge and another another named uh, Mech Warrior. I was I've been trying to stay away from named Mech Warriors, but I had to go with the named ones in order to be able to uh, to um, get pilots that I needed. So we've got a couple of named pilots now. I, I said it so that I shouldn't get any, but apparently they're showing up in the uh, the uh, hiring hall now. So come on, fall over. There's more worth. Yes. Although I think if we get the archer, I'll probably just get rid of it. And my reason for that is that um, we ran with an archer in another yep. series, and I think that's I think that's the old version, relatively old version of the archer. So I don't want to be using the same mech I've used before, so I'll back. probably just uh, get rid of it. Now the Orion, on the other hand, if we can get the Orion, that'd be great. All right, uh, large and micros. Let's leave the MML off on this guy. It's a lot of heat. I got to work on heat for this guy, but we'll just fire. There we go. I like the speed on this thing. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Excellent. Orders? Okay, where you're both here in the front, eh? Hmm. Just enough to both engage that archer. Just running. I got a feeling your life is short now, anyway, so. Go out to the leg. Uh, we didn't get the leg, but good damage. Important critical hit. I'm in trouble. Yeah, we're running you out of here next turn, so. Ready for orders. 
Can you supply some fire support for her, please? I copy. Actually, let's just go right after this guy. Let's hit him hard. Ooh, see ya. That's a kill. That's an ammo kill is what that is. Well, there's one of their big guys off the field. We should be able to clear this upper level upper level next turn or shortly thereafter. And then uh we've pretty much got the this side Let taken care of. Holding firm. So I think maybe the next one's got to be at least three skulls. Reporting minimal damage. We'll see. I'll, st I'll do a few more missions at two and a half. But this is an assassinate mission, so it's a little diff more difficult. So, But it's nice that we're seeing heavy mechs now for these guys. I think it's about time. Ready for order. All right, we got to kill these guys up here. So actually, we got to kill the gladiator. The, the Clint's irrelevant. On the move. Let's not give those guys our full back if we can avoid it. And we'll leave off this guy. And let's go for, try for a kill shot here. <laughs> SRMs are gone. Yeah. Commander. That guy's not feeling so good. Thank God they don't have artillery. We're bunching up something awful here, but got to get the kills. And yep. Did we get the leg. Pretty close. That there was a critical hit. That was. It was. What is he going on? Thirteen. Who do we have left? Oh, we have the Jenner. We got the Treb left. We got a lot of guys going before him. Clint's a stick, so I'm not worried. What do you need? Uh. I need me to stick to my guns. I was thinking about turning around and engaging the guys below us, but. I've been going off task too much lately, so I gotta avoid that now. Let's get up on this guy. I'm gonna switch this around to incendiary. And, uh. Yeah. I'm taking the shot. That one's gone. You can pick up your cord on the next hill over. Oh, you want to shoot me in the back, do you? Okay, well, we got it. Barely hit, Commander. I got a remedy for that for you, buddy. Yes, Commander. Damn it, I can't get a uh, a clean shot on this guy without potentially hitting my own guys. That's not too bad. Hopefully Happy because time. of the, our mechs at a fire arc, we should not hit it. You'd think the math would work that way, but... Ah, uh, let's just heat it up. Why not? We're out of range for those other guys anyway. See ya. Hills ours. The hills are alive with the sound of battle mechs. Ow. He damaged. Damn it. Yeah. Is that pirate AC5, the bastard? Let's just get up to the hill here. Heading out. Let's get into the hill. Get some trees going for some defense. Let's pot shot the Clint. Firing. Targeting systems janky. We're gonna build a firing line here in a second. I hear All right, what's our best chance here? Clint, 37. 30 on the Sand Devil. 37 on the Orion. 28 up there. 28 here. Clint's getting a little too close for my likings. Let's go after him. Uh, and let's switch to chaff. Okay, got a bit of chaff on him. Not bad. When I shoot you, you'll take it 
and like it. Oh, he's going to take it, but he ain't going to like it. Uh, let's go here. Got our front towards the enemy. We got a lot of armor on this thing, so let's just take advantage of that. We're going to open up with the ultras. We got good chances to hit. Oh, yeah. That hit something good. I think Tiger Tail is doing better in the, uh, in the bulldog than she was in the Hetzer. So, got to get her confidence level up. I think she was killed too many times in the Hetzer, or the Hetzer got destroyed too many times out from underneath her. For her to have a lot of confidence, so. Alright, we're gonna put you back here. Hopefully they forget about you since they can't see you. We'll drop some missiles on this guy. Ooh, that's terrible. I think one of our LRMs took a hit, that's why it's so low. Well, if we get one on him, we might knock him over. Got a couple on him. Is it gonna put him down? Inflicted some heavy damage. Nope. They go first. Who's going first? Oh, the javelin. Javelin should run out of ammo soon. The LRM 10 on the javelin, uh, I think has only got one ton of ammo. And that's the tricky thing too, the uh, Standing by. only carrying a ton of ammo. Well, I can't actually move. Oh, yes I can. Barely. Barely. Let's give this guy the what for. Target's taken it. Come on, bail out, buddy. Okay, we gotta keep focusing on that left side, I think. Get you on him. Focus on the left side. The right side's where the AC is, so... We can burn through his left side. Uh... Sure. Just in case we miss with the laser. What do we hit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but not enough. Uh, that was good damage for a... Probably has an ER? Maybe a clan ER or something? Yeah. ER large? ER large Marge? Alright, we should be able to take this vehicle now, I think. Not worried about the clan. He's going so far back that he'll be dead, so... Uh, let's try and kill this vehicle. Nope. Not today. Now Ryan's got an AC-10, I'm pretty sure. It's the old version of the Orion, so... This guy got damaged on the front, okay. Yeah, so he's only, he's only got like 80... It must be the primitive version, because he's got such low armor. Or a primitive version. Receiving you. We don't need to rush this. Just get up here, drop some heat, so we can engage properly next turn. Let's go after this leg. I got him. Or we could just destroy him. That works too. We maintain the right side. That's the most important thing. Target neutralized. They're down to four. Right here. Mm -hmm. Two to one odds. I'm telling it. Yes, I am. Good enough odds for any clan, X clan unit, or X clan bondsman unit, so to speak. Here you go. Yes. What do we got left? Good to go. Just sit there, Rusty. You don't need to do anything. Just pot shot this guy. Confirm. Okay, a few points. Not bad. Rusty served her purpose. She drew fire for a couple of turns. So the uh, the carrier that we have 
the three times LRM carrier, it's got almost no armor. So that thing is going to have to like stay um, in a position where we it, it um, can't see the enemy. So it's going to have to do long distance. But I think it's got a variety of types of ammo. So let's just pepper this guy a bit. A couple hits, not bad. Not bad. What can I do for you? I want this guy gone, please. You betcha. Oh, the blinding flare got him. Oh, he ejected. Nice. Keep heating yourself up with those lasers. Oh, all right. It must be the Omni version of the fire starter. Hurt me. So, I woke up in the middle of last night because I don't sleep very well. Uh, what do you as need? you can probably tell by how much games I play and how little time I, <laughs> I actually have for sleep. But uh, yeah, I woke up in the middle of last night and I was thinking that um, one of the things that uh, Acknowledged. I might do is all for all the mechs and vehicles that I start selling or scrapping. Uh, let's go after him. Actually, can we... I don't think we can hit the, uh... No, it's out of range, damn. Let's just pepper him with some standard ammo. What I might do is write down all the, all the pieces that we're scrapping, and then come up with, like, on the map board, come up with, like... Aye, aye. Additional units that are... that are ours, that are, like, not... like, they're not in play, obviously, because I can't... won't be able to use them once I scrap the mech parts, and I'm not going to create multiple playthroughs, but... You know, so let's say we scrapped a Panther and three Commandos. I'm listening. You know, I can put a light mech unit on the board saying, yeah, we've got guys here defending this area. Mm -hmm. You know, there's like a Panther and three Commandos here. And they'll just sit on the map board and it'll just be like, you know, more counters. But we'll just be uh, using these guys as our main units the trigger. Mm -hmm. to actually do the fighting with. So it'll just add a little bit more flavor. We can add like... You know, um, like to fill out the front because I know it's weird um, as far as front lines go in the future. There really isn't any. Like if you think about BattleTech, for what would you, what would a front line look like? It wouldn't look like anything. It would be a, a mishmash of zones of control, right? Because it's not like I'm moving in with infantry and taking an area and staying there. It's, I'm moving forward and, you know, intercepting the enemy and destroying them and then leaving. Like, why would I, like, hang around and try to hold the area? There's nothing there to hold for me, yeah. right? So it's just basically about zones of control. But if we add these extra counters in the map board, it'll make it feel like, you know, it is like we're, like, holding an area or something like that, you know? All right, we're almost at a point now where I think we should be doing this. On this guy. Get some incendiary on him as well. Take this. Badass. Short okay. range missiles are out. Let's start engaging this guy. Wish we had incendiary ammo for this thing. It's one thing we'll need to find. Oh, what's up, boss? Well, you can only do one thing, so let's do it. A couple hits, three hits, not bad. Commander. Okay, we're gonna engage the fire starter from here. Shock, we haven't got any jams on these things yet. I copy. He's in a great position up there. Yeah. What can I do you for? It's making it difficult for us to do anything to him. Okay. Good chances. Want this leg, please. I got my leg. God damn it. Is that a headshot? 
Looked like it. Oh, he's lost evasive. Yeah. There's a side. I got it. Don't think. Don't shoot. Just run. That'll give us a better chance to hit the leg, I think. We got so much resolve now. We can just like just use it on the on uh, offensive Guess push I'll here. Him, Keep pushing his turn back. Shit. That there's a kill. Shit. Well. Yep. We can only do what we can do. You're out of range, aren't you? Sprint it up here. We can strike next turn. Once we get a variety of gear, we'll be able to switch, swap up the uh, the loadout and the jenner right now. Who do we got? What do you need? Taskmaster, full sprint, please. We got to get close to this guy. Can we actually get down off of this hill from here? I think we can go around. I hope we can go around. Copy that. Or right, we're wasting our turn here. This guy's out of range. Commander. Let's hope we can get close enough to him. Roger that. Um. That we can be within one turn of shooting and then the next turn he fires and shuts himself down. That would totally be worth it. Oh, he fired two of them. Yep. Okay, we gotta see if we can headshot this guy now. Standing by. 38's not bad. Target. Our primary target is taking damage. Primary targets taking damage. On my way. Double time. Just a little out of range, but we'll be there in a minute. What's not out of range though is this. On you, Commander. This is never out of range. <laughs> never out of range. Time to die. I think you need a little bit more time in the simulator. Catch you next time. Adding insult to injury down there. Ah, oh, those explosion effects are so nice. Once again, the Rogue Tech team, man. Oh, it's so good. It's, the game is actually starting to run a little more smoothly for me. You got? I haven't updated to the most recent yep. version yet. Because the version I'm running right now has been running so stable, I'm a f kind of, I don't want to go too far. That makes sense. Uh, let's just get to here. Going full throttle. You can't really kill this fire starter by burrowing through his side. I think he's got, I think it's an Omni, so. Okay, I'm on it. Just keep shooting him. Hopefully he'll decide that he's, uh, right his life here. choices are a mistake and he'll just quit. Okay, we got one weapon we can use on this guy. Firing at him. Gah. What's up, Commander? What's up, Commander? Consider it done. I got someone that needs killing. That's what's up. Engaging target. Wait, did I say he had 90 in his head? I'm very interested to see what this fire starter is. It like almost be worth taking it over the Orion, but the Orion really is a step forward for us. Uh, I'm gonna switch to incendiary. We're gonna go for headshots. No, it didn't say 90. What was I hitting? Oh, this said 90. Okay. Roger. No, I'm not as I'm not as interested now. Cranked him up. Ten plus ten heat. That's not too bad. You're still out of range for everybody, so let's just keep pushing forward. We'll go. What can I do for you? 13. 43 on this guy now. Come on, headshot. No sweat. I love how it just lets you wait for it to land. Battle mech power up detected. Damn. Well, that's his turn, though. What's up, boss? Alright, Tiger. 
Let's pepper this guy, see if we can knock his ass over. Oh, he's stable. Damn. Never mind. Let's move. Let's move. Full speed. Giving him everything I got. Solid on that Guy's one. gonna be bugging out in a minute, I know it. We got two on twenty, three on twenty. Okay, not bad. So the javelin's going and then it's us. What is he doing? Committing suicide? I think he ran out of ammo. Awaiting order. I would wager that he ran out of ammo. He's giving up is what he's doing. Hauling ass. Don't shoot me in the back, whatever you do. Shoot this guy in the back. Target lock on enemy rear. Alright. Scored a critical hit. It said ammo destroyed, yes, command. but I think his ammo is all depleted. I don't think he's got any ammo left. Don't think he's got any ammo left at all. Alright, let's open up on this guy. Yeah. That's a whole lot of fuck you. One less time. <laughs> all I can say is, ow. Ow. We gotta get you up the hill. I'm my, my fear is, like, for this match, my fear is this guy tries to bug out and, and his escape point is back here somewhere and we can't get to him before he leaves. So I gotta get up there. Attacking from the pit. <laughs> He's sticking around, so... Oh, I didn't see that coming. But that's great. Yeah, you dummy. You big dummy. Commander. He was hoping to get in one last hurrah in. All right, let's hope for those headshot plinks. Lock in target. No, I guess we're going for legs then. Beautiful. Okay, here's a bunch of FU for you. Technology. There's one leg. Score. And that will be the an end of this guy's game. Cool, okay. I was worried there at the beginning when I saw the uh, Orion and Archer, but we're all right. Locked on target. We had one round left. <laughs> no joy. <laughs> you see what I mean Maybe about the uh, gone. having to be commander. very careful with that bulldog. Wait, uh, oh, it's Ice House. Um, I'll wait here for now. Let's not use the super big gun on this guy. I don't know how your clustering is, but let's go after this leg. On it. Arm. Yeah, you had two ER largest. Target Clans. taken a critical hit. I'm at a long range missile. You are last guy, I guess so. Hit the leg, please. Well, we got the engine. See ya. Bang! You're there it is, folks. Mission successful. So that was a major loss for the Magashi province. Don't know what they've got uh, coming up in the future, but they uh, definitely took a hard hit on this one. Okay, now we've got one archer part. It's almost not worth taking. Or one Orion part, yeah. There's the pirate AC-5 I was talking about. Got to drop that in. LRM-10 clan. I'll put that there for now. What was that on? Fire what it didn't have it wasn't on the fire starter, was it? Calm suite. Plus three increased resolve and one tactics. Gonna drop it in for now. Uh Artemis four. 
we could definitely use that on uh, the trebuchet because we've only got an Artemis 3 right now on that. Put that in there for now. What else do we have down here? Uh, nothing looks like. Precision AC5 ammo. We have incendiary. Wait, what about... Hmm. Standard range LRM ammo. Damn. Okay, uh... Looking for immediate upgrades. Double heatsink. We should probably take that. Only because I have none, and I need extra heat sinking for my mechs. Because the, uh... The Wolfhound and the uh, Firestud are running super hot. I think we go with those, and we'll roll the dice on the rest here. Okay, we got the Archer part. Sand Devil part. Alright, Javelin, Clint, bleh. Ditch the Flamer. We don't need the LRM-5. I don't think we need the Medium Laser, right? No, we don't need the Machine Gun or the SRM-4. Fire Control System Standard can go. Feral will hang on to for now. Those can go. Those can go. That can go for 100,000. LRM ammo, we've got two, so we don't need that. I think we've got enough SRM ammo. we got one. I think we only need one. I think we're good. So that's actually not a bad haul. All right, so that turned out pretty good. Let's quickly jump to the mech bay here. And go into storage. I'll update my mechs afterwards, but yeah, I've got a... Oh, this is just a, an old vehicle, eh? Two mediums and two smalls, so yeah. I'll probably just end up scrapping stuff like this. That's a that's a good chunk of cash for that thing. What has it got? Large one really? And it's worth that much? Okay, I'm not gonna argue it, but we'll get rid of that. But you can see what I mean, like I'm gonna be scrapping a bunch of stuff out of here. Like vehicle parts, this, that, and the other thing. So what I might do is, on the map board, uh, once I start getting a certain number of vehicles or whatever, artillery vehicles or whatever, I might just create other units that are on the map board just to kind of fill it out a little bit. They're not going to engage in battle, they won't really be doing anything, but it just shows the kind of the growth of our, of our area uh, and our armed forces. Then we can kind of spread them around a little bit and, you know, at least the map will look semi-interesting as opposed to just being like a couple units moving around, but that's for the future, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, but yeah, so that's not too bad. So I got enough for the next financial report. So I think my, what I'll do is I'll make minor changes on these guys and see if there's another mission before the end of the month and we'll take that again for the next battle. But uh, right now I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please repeat to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.